This is how you tap into a wire without any special connectors or solder. Start by stripping back about three quarters of an inch to an inch of insulation material from the end of your wire, exposing the copper strands underneath. Next, locate the wire you wish to tap into and take a knife or utility blade and slice the jacket open. Our goal here is to expose about three quarters of an inch to an inch of the wire strands inside the jacket without cutting through the wire. Take your time and be careful you only cut through the jacket, avoiding cutting those wire strands. You can bend the wire to start to split the jacket open. Once you start seeing exposed wire strands, try to grab those and separate them from the jacket material. With roughly an inch of the inner wire strand exposed, we're going to cut away the remaining jacket material to make it easier to work with. Now take the exposed wire strand and open up in the middle, creating a hole for your new wire to slip through. Now take your new wire end and thread it through the existing wire that you just exposed. Then take that wire end and separate it into two halves. This will allow you to wrap each end in opposite directions around the existing wire, creating a secure mechanical connection without any special taps or solder. Double check that you don't have any loose wire strands, and then you can cover the exposed wires with a little bit of electrical tape. We still prefer solder or posi taps when available, but when you need to tap into a wire in your harness and you don't have any of those options available to you, this is a good way to make a secure mechanical connection.